Hi everybody, welcome to another week of Virtual Playgroup. Uh, this week we'll be looking at um, extending some of the themes Sarah did last week with being active at home and also looking at some activities we can do based around rainbows. So, firstly what we'll start off with is um, the warm-up song that we know from last week. It's a really good one, particularly as the weather gets cooler, to um, get us moving around and exercising just that little bit in a fun way. So, join in. Twist your body from side to side. Stretch your arms out really wide. Spin around on the spot. And stop. It's a bit tricky sometimes. Roll your wrist in front of you. Bend your knees, that's what you'll do. Stretch your arm. Roll your shoulders round and round. Roll, roll, roll. Stamp your feet on the ground. Alright, what's next? Be a star jump in and out. better at that one as we go along I think. All right so following on this week we thought we would run through um, a little activity something you can make at home which is um, some fitness dice and they're really really simple and we'll have some templates available but basically they just give you some ideas of activities little stretches movements you can do rolling over stretch jumping and then we've made a second one as well, which is just helps, I suppose, to self-direct a bit more, which has got some numbers on it. And they're easy, accessible, free, and printable. But so for example, we'll roll the first one. And it's come up as jumping jack. How many? Ooh, six. Okay, so then it's quite, then you do what are on the dice. One, two, three. Four, five, six. What's next? Let's have a look. Ooh, stretch. How many? Two. So we go stretch one, stretch two. And this is a great activity that kids can do by themselves or they can get you involved as well. Something quick and easy. So we'll do one more. Five, jogging in place. So that's a nice easy one as well. One, two, three, four, five. Nice, quick, accessible ideas that at least get you started, get you warmed up. If you're not really keen on doing the full song, this is a nice, easy way to go through things as well. All right. So uh, today we wanted to talk about, um, I suppose going on to a healthy eating thing again, is eating a rainbow. So a lot of our healthy foods and vegetables, um, fruits, are within your colour rainbow. So you have red things, orange things, yellow, green and blue. And so this little printable is a really good, um, good way to have a look at things, vegetables that you know, fruit and veg that you know, maybe some that you don't know or would like to try. And just do a bit of colouring. And there's a few different ways we could do it. So let's have a look. We might do blue. So you might decide to work on this by saying, I'm going to colour in every blue food that I've eaten. And so I've eaten blueberries. So I'll colour them in. And what else is on the blue spectrum? Ooh, okay. So we've got blue over here, purple over there. 
So I might say, well, I've eaten grapes, purple grapes. So I'll colour that one in. And eggplant. Now I haven't eaten eggplant before, but maybe it's something I'd like to try. So maybe instead of as you've gone through and coloured each one, so what else have I eaten? Red apples. Red apples. And I've eaten orange carrots. So once you've done a bit of colouring, you might work out that there's actually a few of these that I haven't coloured in because I haven't eaten them before. And it might be a great way to start your shop next week. Have a look at, well, is there one new fruit or veg that I can add in and then hopefully complete my rainbow of fruit and veg. Your other alternative is you could always start off with looking at the whole rainbow and deciding I'm going to colour in the ones that I would like to try or the ones that I know. So there's a few different ways that you could do this colouring. Of course, you could just colour it in because it is a fantastic little template with lots of healthy fruits and veggies on it. But there's many, many ways you can use it to also get us thinking about while we're home a little bit more, maybe we could look up a new recipe, try a new recipe, pull something out that you haven't done before and have an experiment. And you know what? It's okay to have a try and not be keen or it not work out so well. It's all about science and trial and error. But um, yeah, so use this little colourable. It's an awesome activity just to sit down and colour in all the different fruit and veg but there's also many many ways we can use it to see what else we might be interested in but i'll keep working on that one later all right and so following on from our rainbow theme and the fact that we have been a little bit active in the last couple of weeks is making rainbows so the next slide coming up is actually a little another action song um, that's a nice one to enjoy. A little bit more um, slower tempo. And so to do that, I wanted to make some rainbows to go along with that, just make it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more fun. So I had a look in the cupboard and I found a couple of quick options. The first one being literally just a few lengths of wool in different colours tied together in a knot. And that makes a really wonderful, flowy rainbow to flap around. Another option and something that we'll, um, we'll be popping into our take-home packs for our attending families is just using some streamers of different colours and again, nice wavy resource, a little bit of masking tape on the end, nice and easy. That's a really fun one. And also for those of you with younger children, babies and toddlers, they often like to um, tear things up. So... Um, yeah, giving your toddlers little things like rolls of crepe paper that they can tear up and just play with and throw around, you know, a harmless um, old uh, catalogs for your supermarkets as well is another great one. Give that to Bubby and let them have a bit of a rip and a tear or a throw around and they can explore as well. But for now, we're going to do some rainbow dancing. And it's a nice couple of minute, nice long one. So I'll go through the actions and it's something that you can join in with too at home. Lots of fun. I am dancing around with my rainbow colors, dancing around and around. I am dancing around with my rainbow colors, dancing around and around. I can reach up high and twirl them around, then twirl them slowly to the ground.
Just a nice, slower paced one, and we all love rainbows. Okay, and one last activity that I'd like to run through today very, very quickly, um, and sort of aligns in with our rainbow theme, is butterfly painting. So this one will be one that mums and dads, um, grandmas and grandpas have obviously done many, many times before, but it is always a fun one. So if you remember, rainbow paintings are where you fold your page in half, Pop your dots of painting paint on, fold it back over, smooth it out, and then you get to see a beautiful, cool butterfly paintings, but you can see the lovely, lovely patterns and often make rainbows. So this one was one that was done with different shades of golds and yellows, and this one was more primary colours. But I'll do a quick one for you, and I apologise that you can't sit the table. So piece of paper... Fold it in half. You can get any kind of paints, just your regular paint. There's glitter paints now, metallics, any kind of paint. You only need a little bit. So we might do a couple of blobs. And I'll show you in a minute. I do apologize that the table is hidden. And this one's really good. Toddlers can help with this one, the pretty big piece preschoolers another thing you can do is pick um, your colors so you know do your red and blue your yellow and blue and um, get them mixed together and get your secondary colors out which is a really interesting bit of a science thing okay so we've got our paint blobs I'm gonna pop it together and you want to give it a rub all right give it a bit of a rub smooth the paper out and then when you open it up, see what you've got. And this one is a four blob butterfly and you can see the three colors have mixed together. And sometimes if you think there might be more to do with it, you can join it back together. And this is much easier on a table. So pop it onto a table to smooth it out and you'll have much better results. But that's okay. It's all about having a go. Let's see how we go now. Ah, oh, very nice. These are fantastic. And yeah, good fun for making rainbows and colour paintings. For those of you, again, with um, younger children or younger toddlers, an alternative can be, rather than popping it onto the paper directly, get a plastic pocket and pop a little bit of paint inside. So open it up. Just pop a little bit in there, bear with me. And these uh, can be long-lasting activities too, these ones in the plastic pockets. So good for any age, I suppose, because they're a little bit more durable, keeps things protected. So in my pocket, I put some paint, and what you would do is seal that up. You can either pop it on the table or pop it on a window, something vertical as well, and let the children actually have a go at rubbing that and they get the sensation of feeling the paint and the cool texture, but there's actually no touch. So it's safe for your little bubbies that love to touch everything and put it into their mouths. And you still get the same color mixing. Actually feels quite nice in the pocket. And as I said, that one, you know, if you leave that one taped up, but you know, sort of accessible or up against a window where the sun can shine through as well, that'll last for quite some time and there's a really, 
nice mess free way of exploring colors rainbows and paint but uh anyway thank you for joining me today they're today's activities uh you'll see me again tomorrow and on wednesday for some more activities and then uh yeah we will go from there but thank you very much for joining me today